Hi, I'm Kaylee, and welcome to Sports Stacking with Speed Stacks. In this series, you'll learn all about sports stacking and how to do the stacking patterns yourself. We'll also play a lot of fun stacking games and activities, and we'll watch top stackers competing in tournaments. Helping me teach you will be world champion stacker Emily Fox. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm Emily Fox. So how did this all start? Sports Stacking with Speed Stacks began in 1998 with a giant vision to help kids around the world with their athleticism and dexterity, all while having lots of fun. It caught the imagination of teachers across the globe and it's now practiced in schools and youth organizations worldwide. Sports Stacking appeals to kids of all ages and abilities. It's easy to learn, fun to master, and with a little practice, there's plenty of opportunities to compete. There's local, state, national, and world championship tournaments. Even the AAU Junior Olympic Games. Maybe you really could be the next world champion. So here's what you need to get stacking. The first thing is a set of speed stacks. As you'll see, there's holes on the top so they don't stick together. That's why normal drinking cups don't work. Next thing you'll need is a stack mat. This provides a non-slippery surface to stack on. It also helps you time yourself. Next, you'll need a flat surface. I recommend a table, which is best, but the floor is okay. Now to use your stack mat, you wanna push the power button on, make sure it's reset to zero. Place both your hands on the pads. When the light turns green, you can start stacking, and then to stop, place both hands back on the pads. In these sessions, I'm gonna teach you the three basic stacks in sports stacking. They look like this. The first is a three, 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 up and down. Next is the three, six, three, up and down. And then the premier stack in sports stacking the cycle, which is a three, six, three, up and down. A six, six, up and down. And a one, ten, one, ending in a three, six, three. Now that we know what we'll be doing, let's all stand up and get ready to stack. So stand up with me right in the spots that you're in, and we're gonna get warmed up just like you would with any other sport. So the first thing we're gonna do is jumping jacks. So go ahead, we're gonna do a few of those. Nice and big. Your arms and your legs should be moving. All right, a few more of these. And stop. All right, next one we're gonna do is some star jumps. So a star jump is when you kind of squat down a little bit, get, get some power, and you jump up, and you throw your arms up in the air, and your legs also go out. All right, so let's do a few of those. Ready, go. Make sure your legs are also going apart. Get nice, good power to explode up into the air. All right. Now the last one we're gonna do is some high knees. So right in your spot, we're gonna get those knees up nice and high. Bring them up as high as you can. Get those arms pumping. All right. Let's just shake it out a little bit. And now it's time to get our cups. Instructors, pause this video here and help each student get a set of speed stacks. All right, you should all have your cups right in front of you, and hopefully you have them in a column of 12, just like I have here. If not, get them like that. And the first thing we're gonna do is reach in and grab three cups off the top. All right, just hold these up. Make sure you have three. And these we're gonna put behind us. So go ahead right now and put them behind you on the floor. We're not gonna use them. We're just gonna focus on these nine. So with these, I want you now to take three off, put them to one side. Another three off, put them to the other side creating your three, three, three. And we don't want to stack like that. The sets are too close together, so we want to spread them out. If you want to put a hand in between each one, you can do that. That ensures you have enough space. All right, and we're going to be reviewing the three, three, three pattern. 
So I want you to get your hands out in ready position and follow along as Emily reviews the 333 with us. Now you're ready to learn the 333 stack. So grab two more sets of three. I want you to make your cups look like mine in a down stacked 333 position. Now here's one rule with sports stacking. You must start on one side and work your way to the other. You can't start in the middle. Now most right handers are gonna start on your left side. Most left handers would start on your right side. So I'm right handed, gonna start on my left side. So let's get started. Stack up your first three, up. Stack up your middle three. Stack up your last three. Now this is key. You must always go back to the beginning to down stack. So we're gonna down stack our first three, down stack our middle three, down stack our last three. Now let's practice that a couple times. Stack up our first three, middle three, last three. Always go back to the beginning, down, down, down. Stop stacking, hands up. Hands off your cups. All right, leave your cups right where they are and put your hands behind your back. All right, keep your hands back here and I'm gonna give you a few tips uh, about the 333. So the first one is about starting on one side and going back to the beginning when we down stack. So if I'm starting here, once I complete my up stack, I need to go back to the beginning to down stack right here, not right here. This would not be right. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and go in the same direction as my up stack. Also keep in mind, you cannot start in the middle. So if you're starting here, this is not right. You need to pick one side or the other to start. Also, make sure that you're holding the cups from the side and not the top because your hands will get in the way. All right, we want to make sure that we're not working on two stacks at the same time. So if you're going like this, this is also wrong. You need to focus on one at a time using both hands for that stack. All right, now using these tips, we're gonna practice a little bit more. Instructors, take this time to walk around and help students as needed. Then after one minute, you can pause the video and get more practice time if needed. Then just join me back here when you're ready to move on. All right, stackers, bring your hands out and get ready to practice. Go ahead. Stop stacking, hands up, hands off your cups. All right, leave your cups right where they are and I want you to stand up right in your spot. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks together. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, great job. Go ahead and have a seat right in front of your cups again. And I want you to get your cups just like mine in a down stack three, three, three. So take a second to do that, and then I'm going to help you set up for the next thing, which is going to be the 363. So once you have them like that, I want you to reach behind you, grab those extra three that you put behind you earlier, and we're going to put these right in the middle, creating our 363. All right, now we're going to be reviewing the 363, so I want you to get your hands out and ready and follow along as Emily teaches it to us. Now it's time to put it all together and learn the 363 stack. So grab the rest of your cups and set your cups in a 3-6-3 three, three down stack position. Now just like the 3-3-3, three, 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 we must start on one side, work our way to the other. So I'm right handed, gonna start on that left side. Set up your first three. Using that 3-2-1 method, we're gonna set up our six, set up our last three. Now always go back to the beginning, down stack, down stack, down stack. Let's try that one more time. Set up our first three, 
set up the six, three, back to the beginning, down, down, down. Stop stacking, hands up, hands off your cups. Okay, your cups might be all over the place. Let's get them back like this in a three, six, three down stack. So take a second to do that, make them look just like mine. Then I want you to take your hands and put them behind your back. Behind your back. All right, keep them there for a second. We are about to practice the 363 together. And before we do that, let me just remind you we're going to be using the 321 method on our six stack. So once we get to our six, we're grabbing three, two, and leaving one behind, and then building it up, alternating our hands. Remember to keep those cups close together instead of far apart and spread out like that. And you also want to spread those fingers out so you can release them quicker, one at a time, like that. All right, instructors, take this time to walk around and help students as needed. And after two minutes, you can pause this video to get more practice time if needed. Then just join me back here when you're ready to move on. All right, bring your hands out and get ready to stack. Go ahead. <laughs> Stop stacking, hands up, and hands behind your back. All right, now it's time to play a game. Instructors, pause this video and lead a stacking game with your class. Then join me back here when you're ready to move on. Well, it's time to wrap up for today. Today we learned about sports stacking, went over some of the basic rules, reviewed the 333 and 363 pattern, and we played a game. I had a lot of fun today and I hope you did too. See you next time.